What's up West Coast Swing fans? In this video, we're gonna answer the question that I asked my mom a long time ago when I was a kid. I said, mom, how many numbers are there? And she said, infinite. So there's an infinite amount of ways you can style your anchor step. But in this video, we're gonna give you five simple ways to style your anchor. Let's get started. What's up gang, it's Brian B. And Miss Megan. From westcoastswingonline.com. So I promise you five simple ways to style your anchor. So we're gonna use a sugar push and a right side pass as our workspace. And we're gonna talk about a couple different ways we can style our anchor. So on the first version, one, two, three, and four, we can hook behind on our anchor for five and six. So if we did that in a sugar push, one, two, three, and four, we can hook behind, over rotate five and six. If we did that in a side pass, one, two, three, and four, we can open up five and six. And we still wanna close back to a good anchored position where we're connected to our partner. So that's option number one is behind. Option number two is out to the side. One, two, three, and four. We can go to the side, five and six. One, two, three, and four, five and six. Third option is we can cut in front. One, two, three, and four five and six, and with a side pass, one, two, three, and four, five and six. So going back to my mom telling me as a kid that there's an infinite number of ways, this is three basic ways, a version that's behind, right, a version that's to the side, and a version that's in front. But there's all sorts of angles that we could take that will change what we look like, right? So let's practice again. Your sugar push and right side pass for the first three, then we're gonna give you two more that are a little bit more advanced. So sugar push, we over rotate and we go behind. And again, this works great because even if I don't over rotate and Megan does, it doesn't mess anything up. If we go to the side, we can go to the side with our anchors. We can go to the side off a side pass with our anchors. We can cut in front off the sugar push. We can cut in front, which for Megan creates this cool little snaky look, a little bit more styly. Then we can cut in front here. From an advanced level, before we get to our last two, these can be done purely independently. So in this case, I'm gonna dance basic and Megan's gonna do whatever the heck she wants. It doesn't affect me whatsoever. It really feels more or less the same to me whether she's styling or not. Because As long as you don't move the connection point. Thank you, Ms. Megan. That <laughs> has to stay the same, right? Which leads me, thank you for the segue, which leads me into the fact that you can actually lead or encourage these anchor steps, right? So if we're good fundamentally at leaving this hand alone, three and four, on count four, then is, if I leave this here, we both have the freedom to go where we want to go, right? But if I were to move this hand and my partner would be connected to me, I could actually get her to go with me. So if we did that with a sugar push, one, two, three and four, Megan's connected, so I can now take this hand and over rotate us, right? I can take this hand and slide it to the side, or I could allow her to cut in front, which if we use the sugar push, this if I wanna lead this, I have to make a slight adjustment in what I do. One, two, three and four. I have to open that space up for her and give her a little bit more room so I can encourage her to go that way. I do not have to go that way. I can lead this hand back and let her go that way. And you see kind of how it works. So try those three. The second two are actually the number four is gonna be the one you see the most with the cool kids. And that's literally leaving the triple out and just using the step. So that's deleting the triple. So this is what this looks like. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Some version of that. If I did the side pass, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, I'm leaving it out not doing anything. Megan's leaving it out with a sweep. We could leave it out with a roll of our bodies. All of those are possible. But it's not doing the triple, but we're still making the step on count six. One, two, three, and four. Hold five and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And again, from a lead and follow perspective, if I start to stretch the slot, specifically I got a side pass, I'm gonna eat up some floor that's gonna make us not want to triple perhaps. So what I mean by that is, if I lead my side pass, one, two, three, and, and I'm connected, and I take Megan to the side for four, five, and six, it's gonna let us into that. The very last version is one, it's not actually our favorite, but it does happen quite a bit, especially when we're trying to accent things with our feet, and that's to syncopate the one, two, three, and four, and five 
step six. So that's what this would look like. We have a one, two, three, and four, and five, six. So if we slow that down, one, two, three, and four, and five, six. So we're syncopating a little bit. If we did it off a side pass, it might look like this. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. Now, there's a lot of different variations that they used to teach with a lot of crazy syncopations. To be honest, we don't see a lot of those anymore, but you see a lot of that tight syncopated and five footwork if we're trying to accent the music. So play with that. Again, keeping the rules of the sugar push and the side pass the same, one, two, three, and four, and five, six. And Megan played with her feet a little bit there. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. So five different ways to style your anchor. I can go behind, side, forward. I can leave it out or I can syncopate. All right, gang, if you're really interested in adding styling to your West Coast Swing, Megan and I did this really cool footwork video for West Coast Swing. It's my favorite drill for footwork to help get the fancy footwork. You can download that right here. And if not, you can binge watch some more of our videos right here. And if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We put out videos at least once a week. Right now they're going out on Sundays, but we're gonna be adding a second video a week coming here soon.